بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم زبیا اکرم فارم ڈویژن پبلک اسکول اینڈ انٹر کالج ساہیوال آئی ول ٹیچ یو سائنس چیپٹر نمبر 5 کلاس 6 So dear students, our today's topic is some common elements and their symbols. Objectives. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to define elements, write the symbols of elements. So dear students, in your previous class, you have studied about atom and molecule. So as you know that atom is the smallest particle of a matter which take part in a chemical reaction. Molecule, two or more atoms can join together to form larger particle of a matter called molecule. Let's start our today's topic, element. First of all, we will see the definition of element. The matter consisting of only one kind of atoms is called element. For example, gold, silver and copper. So dear students, let's see some more examples of elements which are gold, iron, sulfur and coal which is the form of carbon. So dear students if we take a piece of a coal which is a carbon and break it into very small pieces you will find it very small piece is also a coal or a carbon. Similarly, in case of a iron or a gold, if we take a piece of these elements and break it into very small pieces, we will find that its very small piece is also a iron or a gold respectively. So dear students, elements can't be broken down into a further simpler forms by any chemical processes. The next one, natural number of elements. So dear students, there are 109 elements are known to scientists. Naturally found elements are 92. Actually students there are 10 elements, 109 elements known to scientists. Around 92 elements are naturally found. Other elements are made by a scientist through any artificial methods. The next one. States of elements. Elements exist in all three states of a matter, which are solid, liquid, and gas. So, dear students, iron, which is an element, it is found in the form of a solid, mercury. It is present in the form of liquid and the next one oxygen. It is present in the form of gas. So element exists in all three states of matter. So dear students in this way we have completed our first objective elements. Now we will see the symbols of elements. 
first of all we will see what is symbol the abbreviated name of an element is called symbol the symbol consists of one or two letters taken from english or latin name of the elements so dear students actually in the beginning each element was written in its full name a short way to write the names of element was developed each element is given a symbol so we can say a symbol is the abbreviated name of element the symbol consists of one or two letters taken from the english or latin name of the element for example h is the symbol of hydrogen as you know that hydrogen is an element and found in the form of a gas the next one na is a symbol of sodium sodium is an element and it is found in the form of a solid so dear students let's see some more examples of symbols of elements so students there are some elements as you can see in this table their names are written in latin these elements are gold copper potassium sodium and iron the first one is a gold as you can see its symbol is au which are the first two letters of its latin name which is aurum aurum is the latin name of gold and the next one is copper its symbol is cu and its letter name is copperum and the third one potassium its symbol is k which is the first letter of its latin name which is gallium and the next one sodium its symbol is na which are the first two letters of its latin name which is natrium natrium is the latin name of sodium and the next one iron its symbol is fe and its latin name is ferrum ferrum is the latin name of iron the next one so dear students there are some more examples of symbols of elements as you can see in this table there are some elements whose names are written in english these elements are calcium zinc helium oxygen and carbon calcium its symbol is ca which are the first two letters of its english name calcium the next one zinc its symbol is zn the third one helium its symbol is he 
and the next one oxygen it is the most important gas the symbol is o and the next one carbon the symbol is c so dear students in this way we have completed our two days objectives let's take a short review of our two days lesson today we have studied about elements let's see the definition of element the matter consisting of only one kind of atom is called element examples are gold silver and copper the next one symbol the abbreviated name of an element is called symbol the symbol consists of one or two letters taken from english or latin name of the element examples are h is a symbol of hydrogen and a is a symbol of sodium so dear students there are some mcqs which are related to to our, our today's topic let's see them one by one the first one the matter consisting of only one kind of atoms is called option a atom option b molecules option c element and option d matter so we have studied about element so the correct option is option c which is element and the next one naturally found elements are option a 109 option b 90 option c 92 and option d 100 so the correct answer is option a 109 MCQ number three. The abbreviated name of an element is called option A symbol, option B name, option C atom, and option D Latin. The correct answer is C. The abbreviated name of any element is called as C. The next one, H is the symbol of option A sodium, option B. nitrogen option c hydrogen and option d sulfur so the correct answer is hydrogen h is a symbol of hydrogen the next one give the short answers of all the questions let's see the question number 1 define element we have studied about the definition of element the next one what is symbol the abbreviated name of any element is called a symbol and the next one write down the symbols of following elements sodium oxygen carbon iodine chlorine and silver so dear students i hope to this lesson will help you to understand the elements and their symbols thank you so much